Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of This Week in the Dunya. <laughs> Let's jump straight into it shall we? First bit of news guys, James Bond 25 should be out very soon and the actor that's been selected to play the villain is none other than Rami Malek. <laughs> Rami has acted in Mr. Robot, the movie Bohemian Rhapsody and of course now Bond 25. Why on earth am I banging on about this sort of stuff? Well it's something very interesting. First of all the guy's not a Muslim yet, he's Egyptian and he has Christian heritage. So he was given the villain role yeah, he was like you know what if this role has been given so I can play some Arab terrorist villain guy who uses his religion to justify the terrorist acts then you know what I am not your guy. Now for somebody in his position to say that takes a lot of respect mate. So much respect to you Rami Malik for not selling out Muslims even though you're not a Muslim yourself. I know some people might be watching saying yeah but Muslims are terrorists, they are bombers and stuff but let's look at statistics guys. Every 12 minutes it's the US that's dropping bombs. Yes that's right, every 12 minutes mate. Next bit of news, Khabib has got a fight coming up in September inshallah and there was a press conference that happened on the 5th of July and this pretty much, and this pretty much summarized it. Give us your idea for your plan as a champion, are you somebody that wants to fight frequently, do you want to beat everybody out there, are you just looking for one or two fights before you may retire sometime soon, I mean what are your plans as champion? I just want to move people, this is what I want to do. I mean he says it so casually. You know I get up in the morning, I read my Fajr Salah, you know I brush my teeth with miswak, you know I mold somebody then you know I have the breakfast and then I go to work and I may mold somebody again. It's just so casual the way the guy just says it. Yeah I'm just gonna mold, I just like molding people you know. Of course all over social media has been the death of a Somali immigrant by the name of Shukri. I think she's a 12 year old and a dead body was found in a river somewhere and there were bite marks and scratch marks on her and apparently the police have closed the case and the school are trying to distance themselves from the case and the publicity but considering the evidence that's coming out people are saying don't close the case you need to look into it and you know what guys I'll put the link in the description for the petition, let's sign it all for one, one for all. You know what I mean? Today it's Shukri, tomorrow it could be somebody else. So let's make sure we do that inshallah. Next bit of news, Trump's campaign. I mean does that guy even need to campaign? With all the hate that's going on, I mean he's gonna get the votes anyway. If his laziness knew no bounds, I mean this is a new level of laziness. In his campaign they're using these fake <laughs> They're using these fake stock pictures that you just get off the internet and just put yeah I'm voting for Donald Trump, yeah I'm very happy and all that. I mean the guy's not even bothering anymore, he's not putting in any effort. It's like he knows he's gonna be getting the votes. Next bit of news, the Dubai ruler's wife has left him for the bodyguard supposedly. I mean what do we learn from this? It's just another reason to go to the gym isn't it? Don't rely on other people to look after your family all this free mixing business eventually it's gonna come around and bite you in the backside. Ouch. Some of you may have heard Quebec which I don't know is somehow linked to Canada, they've banned the hijab. The guy that was responsible for pushing this whole thing had a picture with Malala Yusuf who we know wears the hijab. So people started saying that's hypocritical mate, you're trying to ban it eh? and on the other hand you're posing with hijabis. What on earth's going on? Imagine if she wanted to be a teacher and then this mug goes yeah if she did want to be teacher she'd have to take her hijab off yeah that's it. But you know what I would say to Malala if ever you know you're hitting those rough times and you have to take a teaching job in Quebec tell that guy I'll take this job on one condition. I'll take my hijab off you take your pants off mate. If you want me to expose my hair and you gotta expose your hair, yeah I think you guys get the point. And next we move on to Nikki Minhaj. 
Yeah. So Nikki Minhaj is going to Saudi now, but she's not going to perform Hajj yet. Nikki Minhaj, yeah. She's not going to perform Hajj or Umrah. She's actually going there to be semi naked and sing. <laughs> yeah, because that's what you think. You think Saudi, you think Umrah and Hajj and, you know, Muslims and practicing people. And then you think Nikki, yeah, with her bits and bobs hanging out and, you know, bouncing on the stage, going booga 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 or whatever, you know, her lyrics are. I think I'm pretty close with what I said. Just because you're bringing Nikki Manhaj there, it doesn't naturally mean that her Manhaj is gonna be legit now. Maybe she'll wear the hijab, yeah? She'll wear the hijab and maybe she'll do a few nasheeds, yeah? Or Marisha cover nasheeds, obviously, yeah? Let's leave it there. Until next time, Salaamu Alaikum.